Well, I was getting ready to call it quits, but I figured I'd leave it with the guys who were going to be able to stay longer and see what other footage we can get. So I did a final cast with this one before I called it a day. And like I said, I'm just here to see how everything is going with the way I've got that leader set up and the bait presentation. And the sun's going down, so <clears throat> this is a big thing for us to find out exactly what's going on and how long does it take for the bait to actually get picked up. I mean, we gotta know all these little things to get our questions answered. Got a lot of stress on my mind It's a nice day to go Yeah, I got a line I'm a caller The whole team Well, you can see now that it's this is the second cast and they are on it like white on rice really quick. So, this is definitely something to pay attention to because if you remember at the very beginning of the other video, I said this was one of the last casts there. Well, this is technically the last cast before I decided to leave for the day and, you know, they were on it pretty quick i guess because the scent was already out and or maybe this is their bait fish this is the one that instead of having a bunch of pin perch and piggy perch there's a whole bunch of these croaker and butthead croaker in this area so i don't know we'll see i'm gonna enjoy this film as much as y'all are so keep learning but i also think too that i still need to add a little more buoyancy to the float system because i still get too much action on the floor instead of it up a little bit i need it to float off the bottom just a hair and i think we'll be a lot better position right there so stay tuned guys because i am contemplating that and it will happen another thing i wanted to point out if you notice at the very beginning the go fish sign was on the bottom left hand corner now if you notice it's on the top right hand corner and the reason i did this is because on the original footage it's upside down so if you want to see what it would look like flip your, your phone upside down or turn your head sideways and i changed it up this way because it's a little easier to understand what's going on you know even for me because if you're seeing something that looks like it's upside down you know it <laughs> can distort your vision and stuff like that but yes i definitely am paying attention to this and we are going to make sure i think i'm definitely going to have to make this a bit more buoyant yes definitely so